in New Hampshire, joined again by John Carl, our chief White House correspondent. Republicans starting to weigh in on this debate right now, and they're really zeroing in on national security. It has dominated this debate so far. Those comments from Hillary Clinton where she said, we're getting where we need to be on ISIS. Yeah, finally the, where we need to be. This is her, her exact words were, we now finally are where we need to be. She was talking about the fight against ISIS. That is something that the vast majority of the American public disagrees with. Why disapproval with the president's handling of the ISIS threat? Republicans are pouncing on it. Jeb Bush uh, responding with a tweet, no Hillary Clinton, we are not where we need to be in the fight against ISIS. One other thing that's interesting, though, about this whole debate, George, and the Republican response is the only Republican we've heard by name, the only candidate you pointed out was Donald Trump. I have not seen a single tweet from Donald Trump. People Nothing. Were radio, him to be live tweeting tonight. Radio that's right. silence from Donald Trump on a debate where he has been mentioned and none of his rivals well, he's have. He's going to have a chance to respond tomorrow yes. uh, on this. On week, this but week. on this debate, uh, as well, you saw Martha Press. Uh, Secretary Clinton on the issue of Libya at the end. Uh, she tried to point out some differences with Bernie Sanders, but this is something as well that is sure to be, we know for a fact, if she gets the nomination, a general election issue. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, 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 Libya was something that for a while, while she was Secretary of State, she thought was going to be her crowning achievement. She was the one that led the fight internally in the Obama White House to intervene in Libya. She was the one who made the case internationally as Secretary of State. And it has, of course, become something of a disaster. Republicans have already pounced on this far beyond the Benghazi issue, the question of what has happened to Libya since the U.S. and Europe intervened. Okay, time now for closing statements. We'll be right back. ABC News live coverage of the New Hampshire Democratic debate will continue in a moment.